Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where today we're going to take a look at three, um, I guess I can call them sort of secret layer tricks in Photoshop. They're just kind of three sort of automated features. They're more scripts that can be imported into Photoshop or you can ditch them from Photoshop. Um, but before we jump into that, we got to talk about the sponsor. This tutorial is sponsored by graphicstock.com. April of 2016 is Graphicstock's Creative Rewards Month. You can sign up for 39 bucks, get six months of Graphicstock. And Graphicstock is basically a huge stock photography library. 300,000 plus graphics, photos, vectors, um, and more, all with royalty-free licenses. you got to check them out. Graphicstock.com, you can see here, I searched pizza, and I've got a bunch of illustrations, photos, and the like of, you guessed it, pizza. So let's talk about this stuff in Photoshop. You can see I've got a document here, uh, background image, some layers, some adjustment layers, mask, some coloring going on, all that good stuff. If I go up here under uh, file scripts, I have a few uh, options. Number one, delete all empty layers. Well, that can be useful if I'm working on a massive Photoshop document. I got a bunch of empty layers. Let's try that. Delete empty layers. And all right, cleaned up our layers palette quite a bit. There were three or four empty layers in there it just got rid of for us. We can also go ahead and choose to flatten all layer effects. So we can see here on the not a burger text and uh, the text layer, excuse me, and also the shape we have the layer effects. Um, I don't really recommend flattening your layer effects because then obviously you lose all the editability, but it's an option. You have your flatten all layer effects in one fell swoop and you can see, boom, they are now flattened. Obviously with two layers, you can always um, go ahead and just rasterize the layer or merge it into another layer. But what's it, what if you have 20 or 30 graphical objects? One quick click and boom, it's done. And last but not least, flatten all masks. Now you're going to see, if I do this, it's going to flatten the masks on like pixel-based layers, not my adjustment layers. So that's just a little sort of nuance of that effect um, that you should be aware of. And of course, I can go ahead and I can undo any of these... Um, features or triggers that I click the scripts I guess that I executed I could say uh, just with a little command Z action and then of course they step backward for multiple undo steps so very very quickly and easily file scripts and we have delete all empty layers flatten all layer effects and flatten all masks so for the three secret layer tricks I'll call it in Photoshop that's it get it got it good Nathaniel Dodds and tutvid.com I'll catch you in the next one